when you want to insert pictures you may want to uh, do the layout first and then add in the pictures later so we're exactly going to do that here in this tutorial so in order to do that I can insert something called picture placeholders in order to do that I'm going to go into the insert menu right here and here you can see it, picture placeholders so I can click it and you can see that the placeholder appears so this is just like a shape I can move it around and I can resize it let's say I want my picture to be somewhere over here just like this on the left side if I want to um, duplicate it I can press ctrl C and ctrl V and it'll duplicate just like this so I'm going to drag it across but notice that the top picture uh, placeholder actually disappeared and I cannot see it uh, in order to make it visible I can select both of these so both of them are selected and I can enable the picture border by clicking over here so the picture border is there so I'm going to copy this out I'm going to uh, press ctrl and drag that is another way to copy and I'm going to replace it over here ctrl and drag keep it over here just like that but over here you can see that the gaps are not maintained so I'm going to select all of them and do the line so I'm going to select all of them do that line and I'm going to uh, distribute it um, vertically just like this and that has been aligned just like that and distribute horizontally as well so that all of them are aligned once I do that I can start inserting pictures one way to do that is by going into here double clicking the picture and then you can load the pictures off of the computer from the file or do the image sets so I'm going to do from the file itself I'm going to go over here onto my tutorial folder into my pictures and I'm going to insert the picture right here it's like that so that's the picture and you can see that it is cropped out and we're going to learn about cropping in future lessons I can double click this uh, go to from a file select another picture and it has been there it's like that I'm going to go over here and I'm going to go to from a file and I'm gonna select this picture right here so the picture appears right so that picture is there and another one from file or in my case I'm going to insert a picture right here go to picture I'm going to select a picture right here let's say I'm going to select uh, this one and what I want to do is uh, if I were to do that you can see that it actually got inserted just like that because I had this selected I can also go over here and insert a picture let's say for example this picture right here and if I want to swap it I can simply go over here click and drag and the picture is swapped as you can see so that is how you can use the picture placeholders inside of Microsoft Publisher hope you guys learned something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe